Hello there. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can bring in a video file into Blender to use it for reference or rotoscoping. So first, open up Blender and click on 2D animation. This will also work in the 3D space. The next thing we need to do is to go over to object mode. So let's click here and go to object mode. Let's go to add and let's go to image and click on reference. Now you won't be able to see any videos. That's because you need to click this filter settings and then let's click on movie files. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and load a video. So I have a video loaded in my storyboarding folder. I'll just click this and say load reference image. So now we have this video. And if I begin to drag the timeline, you can actually notice it starts scrolling but stops. Let's fix that issue because you want it to scroll all the way through your entire video. To fix that problem, let's go back. And I'll just drag this down a bit and make sure you're on your object. So I'll click on this empty reference here and let's click on this data so you can actually see on data right here if we scroll down a bit you can actually see frames so it's stopping at a hundred frames let's set this to a value of say 1000 and you can play with this number so now that i've set this to 1000 it means i can actually scroll down to see more of these frames and it's going to stop just where it reached the 1000 mark so we've actually solved that issue so here's the second issue you might come across that you need to solve. So next, if we try to draw, so I'll click on the grease pencil object, which is called the stroke, and I'll go back to drawing mode. If I'm on my pencil and I draw, that's fine. But once I draw over this, you can actually see it's uh, kind of like drawing these lines. And for you, it might not actually show this line. So basically, you might not see the line above the drawing, right? So if that happens, this is how you can fix it. So let's go back to object mode and let's click on our MT reference and click on the data. So to fix that issue, the forward depth, set this to, and just make sure I'm in the same place. So I'm going to set this to back. And for the side, I'm going to set the side to front. So that should solve your problem. Another issue you might come across is you might want to dim down the opacity so you can trace down the path so we'll just click on opacity make it active and dial it down to any value you want so we can select our stroke object go back to draw mode and you can actually start drawing any lines or any shapes you want you can actually use that to trace your character and once you're done you can actually turn off those frames and then begin to create your animation so here i'll just set this back and once we move that, you can actually see that change. So let's say, for instance, we want to draw this frame here like that. Then we'll change this to another one and draw another keyframe like that. And we can also turn on onion skinning. It's already on. And you can use that to actually play around with your layer and see how you've gone from this to this and you can turn this off when you're done just to see what you've done. All right, so that's how you can bring in a video into Blender.